guys, Kristen Collins. Hope you're doing well. This week, wanted to connect with you on a theme that we continue to talk about, but it's truly resonating as we're coming out of this pandemic and figuring out what does self-care and emotional well-being look like today, but especially after the trauma that we've been through. So there's been a lot of discussion about healing. And this week, I was so blessed that I had the opportunity on Raw Real Talks Healing Edition. I host a weekly Instagram Live with Janet Namaste. Hey, Janet. Um, But Janet was unavailable this week. So I had the opportunity to interview my beautiful stepdaughter, Megan Michelle. And she is a licensed clinical social worker who specializes in childhood trauma and works in real time to go ahead and support the mental and emotional health and well-being of children as they're going through their trauma. So I bring that forth today because now is the time to heal. And whether that was from a childhood trauma, as we call a big T for a really large trauma, or potentially a little T, but it just really threw you off your game back when you were younger. Are you taking that time to go back and do the work to actually address and heal and release that experience or that series of experiences so that you can thrive and live a life of optimal well-being? And perhaps maybe you have already done that work, but now there's this time traumas that you're experiencing with work or loved ones or, you know, neighbors or or whatever it may be. So how are you doing that releasing and that healing from hurts? So, and how does that affect your health? Because that has been my entire journey was I was not addressing childhood trauma properly. I thought I had and I hadn't. (laughs) thought I had and then it was manifesting and showing up physically for me from all the stress and anxiety that I was hosting really at a very deep level so that has been my experience and how I've come to these moments of awareness and why it's so fun to be able to share them and hear your stories as well I wanted to share with you just a quick quote I was reading my daily email from Guru Singh And it talks about that healing and being present and the benefits of momentum when we do that. So today's email from Guru had in it, you're on earth to fully engage each moment to then release that moment and make room for the next. This is called momentum, a powerful tool to save effort and energy in motion. You live life fully through momentum, no moment attached, and without attachment, nothing stops you. The masters referred to this freedom by saying, when it's your time to go, nothing can stop you. And until that time, nothing can take you. So on our healing journey, that healing, that letting go of past hurts or past experiences, potentially shame or guilt, whether we were the ones that we're creating that experience or we were the ones receiving that experience, it doesn't matter. We can let it go. And how are we in the present moment, not worrying about the past and not freaking out about the future, but just being here now. And as Guru shares, that is where momentum is created. And that's when we prepare in the present moment for the amazing divine future that we can have when we cast our vision unattached to outcome. So I hope that is something that speaks to your soul this week. And if you have time, go ahead on Instagram and check out the recording of my interview with Megan Michelle. And as always, I so appreciate your outreach, your touch-ins, and that you share this information with others. That's so helpful. I have been able to connect with people I've I've never met who are now crossing that I'm able to be in conversation with and I'm learning from and hopefully they're healing from as well. So thank you for sharing um, the message. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.